many people wearing red today to call attention to the importance of heart health, particularly with women. News 19's Alante Walker joining us now, sharing a lacrosse woman's story of how COVID-19 can amplify cardiovascular issues. For the 57th year in a row, we are observing February as American Heart Month. Heart disease remains the greatest health threat in the U.S., killing over 655,000 people each year. We often hear of people being rushed to the ER because they fail to recognize the warning signs. And while some genetic factors remain out of our control, health officials say heart disease can be prevented. They say the key to taking care of your heart is maintaining a good diet. Getting up and getting active can help you lower your chances of poor heart health. You also want to avoid smoking and heavy alcohol consumption as that can contribute to heart disease. Keep track of your numbers in regards to your weight, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and then get some guidelines on or recommendations of what to do to improve those numbers. So in this month of February, when we're celebrating Heart Month, I want people out there to take their heart health seriously and do prevention. Throughout the pandemic, many people have avoided going to the hospital to check out their heart health. But Dr. Ijoma says that if you are experiencing chest pain, the hospital is the safest place for you to go. And today is National Wear Red Day, raising awareness about heart disease in women. One in three women die from heart disease each year. One woman in lacrosse is currently recovering from heart disease, though her symptoms were a little more rare. Teresa Haberline joins the near 6% of people who are battling heart disease after first testing positive for COVID-19. At the time, her heart was only functioning at 30%, but now she's doing workouts at Mayo Clinic twice a week and taking control of her heart health. I feel that doing these things that I do here are, um, really making my body stronger. I'm noticing a little bit, I'm not really doing much on balancing because I've never did balance well on one foot, but I see it's improving a little bit. So whatever, whatever I'm doing here is making me a healthier person, I feel. Today, Haberline's heart is working at 50%. She's reminding us all to eat our veggies, go on walks, and really take care of our health. And at 86 years young, she says that she wants to take dance classes once the pandemic is over to help keep her heart running. Yeah, she's still got that spark. Thanks, Alante. And for more resources on how to keep your heart healthy, find this story over at our website, wxw.com.